Shiv, what in the world? I've been trying to find you all day long. Excuse me, guys. I'm so sorry. I need this guy very badly. Is that okay? Thank you. You are wow. so freaking popular. What in the world, man? It's good to see you. Come on, nice to see you, Tony. How are you so famous? I am not. I'm still working on it. Oh, you, you, okay, well, I finally have you because you're very busy. You're uh -huh. bouncing from the US and India all the time, but I know how important it is for JTEC, yes. for Su Suzette, and yourself mm -hmm. to talk about partnerships and nice. the importance of AMS mm -hmm. and JTEC working together in the US to continue to expand right. in the US market. So right. let's talk about partnerships. Yes, you said it right. I'm half Indian and half US. So <laughs> my job is to make sure my customer, which is JTEC, is my customer. Basically, there are dealers, but they are my customers, and AMS always thinks about customers first, customers first, and customers first. So to take care of the customers, we have to have a continual support, sacrificing your family, doesn't matter, whatever it is. So you have to be there to help them, to, you know, to help them in quotation, help them in service. I can jump on a machine, do the issues, I can solve any issues, mechanical, electrical, everything. I can also be able to give the quotations. So that is how AMS have trained me to help JTEC, but and also putting it all together to in order to help US people, it is only not me. We are also developing people like me to have subsidiary. Like instead of me, there'll be somebody else to help JTEC to improvise our sales service so that JTEC will have continuous support in terms of our expansion. The business is increasing. Every year, we are closely 40, 70 plus machines right now, and we have to help our customers in giving the information, right? So that's all everybody needs. A proper information is all they knew. I know. I wanna talk about where you think your machines stand out in the US market, but before we get there, I noticed two things. One, you made me miss my family because I have to sacrifice my family sometimes too. I know. And I miss them, but we do that for work sometimes. Right. The other thing that I love that you did is you said, I'm half Indian, half American. That's that right. was awesome. <laughs> uh, so let's talk about where the AMS machines that you believe stand out in the US market where we right. know second in the world in manufacturing, reshoring a ton right yeah. now, bringing in automation like crazy, one of the fastest growing for automation, but also with a skill shortage and a labor shortage. Right. So we want to be price competitive as well as know that when a part comes off a machine, mm -hmm. that is a good part. Right. So let's talk about where you think it all stands out for the US customer. That's right, that's a good question. So our models, our models are built for the tool room solutions. It starts from tool room solutions and we goes up to the defense. So we are there from the bottom line of the engineering to the top line. And our, it all depends on our theme, our philosophy is customer. So the customer, customer and customer, right? So the customer is asking us the requirements like, hey, I don't need this size of the pallet. I need 100 millimeters more. So we have our own foundry and we have our own machining as a partner. So whenever the customer asks for something more, we are always there to do the changes get the castings done because we don't depend on anybody else and our design is so strong you can see that we have not collaborated with anybody it is pure 100 percent indigenous company standing out in india nearly one third of the machine goes out in the country goes out from our group so yeah and we are de we are developing everybody together they are not only just one shift we are developing three or four shifts back in the line looking at the future for JTEC. So our products are for the customer use. You ask me, we are ready to deliver. Shiv, I wanna have a moment with you, if it's okay, mm -hmm. to talk about the quality of an Indian product, okay. right? I wanna be transparent because the audience that watches MTD, the audience that listens to me talk, they trust us to convey information right. that's gonna be honest mm -hmm. and helpful to yeah. their machine shop. Right. They don't want to feel duped. They don't want to feel tricked. They don't mm -hmm. want to feel like they've bought into something. But I think it's important to say, uh -huh. you just mentioned one third of all machines in India. Right. We are vertically integrated with your own foundry. The right. only one of its kind in all of exactly. India. That's right. You are hand scraping mm -hmm. your products to make sure right. the precision is there. Right. You're making your own turrets and spindles to That's go along right. with it. Yeah. These are things that are sometimes not understood 
in the US market when they think India. And I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be joking a little bit. Mm -hmm. I hope I'm not offensive, mm -hmm. but sometimes we think dirt floors and sandals, running machines. Look at this, look at my shoes, look at this. You look great, right. and we're on concrete. But let's, right. let's be fair to the stereotypes mm -hmm. and let them know, okay, this is what since 1979 Oh, that AMS is done yeah. in order to set themselves apart to mm -hmm. be a global leader, not right. just an Indian leader, but a global leader in machine tools. So yeah. let's clarify some of that stuff for everyone who's watching right now. That's right. See, the machine, you, it's not just the caching that we are making, right? We have our own design. The design is our core strength. When it comes to the components that we are doing, imagine we are doing a bearing for the spindle. We are not going for like lower class or C, we are going for, going for the super precision class, which is C3. Come to the ball screws, which is a super precision class and you name it, whatever the best suppliers in the world, you will definitely see those boxes in the assembly area. We can give whatever the customer asks, if they say I don't need Subaki, I don't, I don't THK, I don't need PMI. We are supplying, we are doing machines and incorporating all the global suppliers, super precision suppliers to our base build. Wherever it needs the accuracy and wherever it needs the quality, there is no compromise at all. And as you mentioned, when there is a hand scraping, that is for the accuracy. That is a skill people have. You can see hundreds of people doing scraping at my base build, right? Even I can learn base build, it's a hard learning. But there are people who can train you and they can give you whatever the accuracy you need because we have 40 plus models and if you count all the different variant it will go up to 70. So it is not easy to make machines just to suit the customer. You should also give the accuracy and quality. That is how we are still standing out and we still have the service support, the best service support which is a machine tool is a machine tool. You know there will be issues, there will be callings, there will be confusions. It's not only you just make the machine, sell it out and forget, it is the service that you give after the sales which is most important for every business and we are there. We are there in domestic India and we are there worldwide uh, trying to help JTEC every way possible, giving the best solutions and giving the best service. Let's close this out by just kind of redefining what AMS is as far as size. Uh -huh. This started, there's three founders, right? but it started in a garage. Right. It started as an idea. It, I spent time with one of the founders who, it was his father that believed in the idea that Indian manufacturing could grow. It was the first real machine tool to come out of India, That's to right. my knowledge. What does it look like today? How many people? How many buildings? How many different companies? Right. Give me some of the sizes of everything that AMS is today as we speak. Oh yeah, it, it, I can get goosebumps if I start talking <laughs> about it. It is like they start from, there's a person who incorporated that idea four and a half decades ago look at this look at the status it, we are like the number one machine tool company in india and just like our leader told at the year 2030 we will be billion dollar company and it's gonna happen my friend it's gonna happen it has been through the journey and they'll make it happen because of their expansion this is this is one of the facility we have bought the same land out, out outside of the city somewhere so that is going to be double the capacity of this plant. We can make 4,500 plus machines here. Wow. And we are planning to do 10,000 machines in another place. So it's going to happen and hopefully you'll be there for that interview as well. We'll enjoy that plant. It's going to be a global class machining, uh, uh, global class machine tool factory. So it'll be a great time. Uh, that we have when you have our 10,000 plus capacity plant in there. Well, if you invite me back, you know I'm coming back. Of course, yes. right? I'll keep the non ready for you. <laughs> Thank you so much for your time. I hope this has been helpful, I really do. There are so many ideas, concepts, misconceptions, theories, yeah. worries, concerns, even expectations of what might be being made in different parts of the world. But that's right. the great gift of MTD CNC is we bring the world to you. We show you firsthand. There's boxes right here. There's machines right here. We want to take you up close and personal to find out what the real truth is. So that's why I got my, that's why I yanked my buddy Shiv yeah. from a group meeting so we could talk partnerships, history, story, and what's really going on here to bring it to your TV screens. So thank you all for watching and Shiv, thank you. Thank nice you dance welcome. moves, yeah. you see that? Let's do that, let's finish yeah. that, yeah, 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 yeah. all right. <laughs> and that's how we finish it out. Thank you all, we'll thank see you, you again soon. See ya.